question of the day. What is an African wild dog? Is it a gang of bikers that goes around tearing up the streets of Chicago? Is it a term for seven-year-old children in elementary schools that run around with their pants down? Or maybe, just maybe, is it an endangered canine species located within northern to southern Africa? If you guess number two, you're a winner! Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of all this, let me just point out that I'm not some sort of stoner hippie trying to spread world peace and communism everywhere I go, okay? I'm merely just trying to spread awareness about this almost extinct species of animals that have ginormous Dumbo ears. Also, this is for a school project and I'm being forced to do this against my own will. So, why should we worry about a problem that's going on over in Africa? Well, first of all, it's a simple reaction of the food web getting knocked out of place, causing everything to go wrong over there. Second of all, look at these things, they're precious. It's like someone put bunny ears on a hyena. It's similar to the fruit pyramid effect, where if you kill off all the dogs, it's like taking out the bottom orange of the fruit pyramid. The whole thing collapses, like the whole food web collapses. One species increases in population, which means another decreases, which means another increases, and all over again, and on and on and on. It's pretty much knocking every species, or every orange, out of its original standpoint. But the question is, how are they dying in the first place, and why? The African wild dogs are dying out for two main reasons. One is because people are shooting them because they're getting blamed for killing all the livestock. The second reason is that their habitat is being destroyed by human populations moving in, tearing down their environments, just basically pushing them out of their own land, condensing the area they have to live in. Little known fact is that there's a third reason, and that's because the African wild dogs have picked up a nasty habit of smoking. It's a true fact. Look it up. Good question, Ghost of Helen Keller. What can we do to help? What kind of solutions are there? Well, the simple answer is to stop trudging into their homes, shrinking down their land, and killing all of them. But there's still always gonna be bad people out there to decide to trudge in and kill them all anyway. So unless you actually live in Africa, or at least visit there, where the action is being taken the most, the most you can do here in the United States is donate to an organization that is going towards that exact purpose, benefiting the African wild dogs. Oh my god, I feel like this project has turned into a PSA. Alright, that should about do it. Well, now that I'm all done, that was nice and painless.